I swear though, someone or something did not want this video to be on YouTube because this is the most technical difficulties I've ever had trying to make a video since I started in Marine Lane. <laughs> Sound problems, I had video problems, I had editing problems, I had computer problems. Hi guys, it's Emery, <laughs> and in today's video I'm going to be doing a battle of the nose strips. Before we get into the video, do not forget to subscribe if you have not, and ring the bell so you can get notified of any future videos like this one. And without further ado, let's get into it. I'm sad because the first time I did this intro, the packaging wasn't all messed up. <laughs> but I was looking online a couple months back, and I found this Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Two-Step Nose Kit. And it was $3, something like that. I'll put the price right there, but it's expensive for a one-time use at the drugstore. You could buy a one-time thing for three or four dollars, or you could buy six for, I think that you can get this for seven dollars. How do you say it? Is it Bior or Biore? Because I've heard people say both. So this is a lot cheaper, but does this work a lot better? And that's why I wanted to find out. So what I did was I tried these out first, and I did it with a technique that I found online that I hadn't used before to kind of mimic the idea of this two-step process. Oh, side note, before you use any kind of nose strip, you always want to take a hot towel and press it on your nose for a minute or two so it can open up your pores as much as possible so you can like prep your skin. Um, so what I did for this one was I washed my face and then, well, mostly just my nose so I could keep my eye makeup on. <laughs> And then I mix baking soda with a little tiny bit of water so uh, so it, pour, it forms like a really thick paste. Um, you only need just a tiny tiny bit so it's not like powder anymore. Um, and then I just took my fingers and rubbed it all over my nose and then I rinsed it off. And then I just used the BR just like I normally do. I left it on for... 15 minutes and then I took it off which side note it's always a good idea to when you're doing like a peel anything to remove it in an upward motion so start at the bottom and pull up instead of pulling to the side it just helps the junk cut, like stick to this the thing better and that was it I hear this might gross you out so close your eyes for a second I don't know um here's what the four strip looks like I took out a couple of big guys and then one or two little guys from what I could tell. Um, it might show up more on camera. Yeah, it did a good job like normal. Like it, there wasn't anything super different that I noticed. I'm sure the baking soda mixture helped get some dead skin off. But I don't know if it made the biggest difference when it came to like getting the little, is it called sebum? Or is that what it's called? The things out, the black has the sebum, all that stuff out of my pores. Now we're going to move on to the Yes 2 strips. This is the Yes 2 Tomatoes Clear Skin 2 Step Nose Kit. Apply warm water to your nose, use a cotton swab, the cotton swab that comes in this kit. I'm just going to open this up in a sec. Whoa, this huge guy. I didn't imagine a cotton swab being that big. Use a cotton swab to apply this cleanser. There's a lot of cleanser in here. Like. You could put this on your whole face. So you use the concept to apply the cleanser around your nose area to open up the pores, rinse and leave your nose wet. You just take the blackhead strip and apply it to your nose just like the BR one and wait for 10 minutes and then take it off. I guess we'll see what happens. I wanted to point this out. Um, I said this in like the bathroom when I was filming it but then like I said the sound was messed up. It was kind of difficult to get the nose strip to stick to my nose. It's not like the normal fabric one. Like it's not the normal like really flexible stuff that these like these are. Yeah I just left that one on for about 15 minutes too. It says the instructions say 10 but I would say 15 is better. And then I took it off. First of all my nose was ridiculously red. Oh my goodness, my nose is so red! I'm like Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Like as soon as I pulled off the uh, Yes 2 one, I was like, whoa, it actually took off some big guys and then a lot of little guys, which I feel like I've used not every pore strip out there, but I feel like I've tried a lot of them and it seems like they either take out a bunch of little guys or a couple big guys. I keep calling them guys, like stuff from a bigger pores or little pores. Um, and it doesn't really do both and it seems like this one did. It wasn't like those pictures that you see on Pinterest or Instagram, or yeah, on Pinterest where it's like the whole thing is dotted with little white dots and it's disgusting. Um, but I feel like it did a good job. 
Now my overall vote, here's the side by side. My overall thoughts for this on who I think won. I, I don't know if I want to necessarily say there's a winner because I feel like it depends on what you're looking for. In my personal opinion, if you want to use these often, like I know some people use them once a week, um, I feel like if you use these once a week and then to get this to use it every four to six weeks, that it would be just fine. I don't think you need to use this every single week because it's kind of like, you know how a lot of people will like use a lighter shampoo on like an every other day basis or an everyday basis and then like once a month use a really deep shampoo. I feel like this does a good job getting really deep into the pores, but it doesn't get everything still. Um, maybe this is, could be like a special occasions one. But I don't think it does a, like that big of a difference compared to this one to justify spending that much more money on one pore strip. I'm a budget girl. I do not want to spend more money than I need to. So I feel like they both get participation prizes. Please don't be mad at me that I didn't pick an official winner. Let me know in the comments who you think won. I want to hear your opinion. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out my battle of the dry shampoo videos, you can click right here. If you want to check out my latest vlog, you can click right here. And if you want to subscribe, you can click right here. I love you guys so much and don't ever forget that you are enough. Bye!